Hey there, this is KFRA, Knowledge for All, and in this video today I will try to explain you basics of brush palette, or palette in French. And um, this one should be again short probably, and I hope shorter than previous one, um, not because um, this tool has less feature than layers, and less options but um, again uh, quite opposite because uh, I could not cover I cannot cover all of those ideas and features and possible use in one video so we, we will um, come back to this tool later um, by default when you start your Autodesk sketchbook free version you will have your brushes, your pencils, your markers, your eraser, whatever tools you use to draw to illustrate on your left and those are here in this window, in this palette, in this toolbar, whatever you call it, editor. And you can, same with, same as with other windows, you can click on the top of it and move it in the middle, on the right, on the left, below, above. By default it's on the left, it's visible and uh, I leave it like that most of the time because I don't need that space particular, in particular, it doesn't uh, distract me and uh, although I uh, change those very little, I use mostly pencil and a couple of other brushes and that's it. Uh, most of the people who draw in most of other uh, softwares, not only Sketchbook, use a couple of tools and that goes with experience, like I said, with layers and other stuff, you have to try it, you have to experiment and then just pick what you use, what you find most comfortable, use that, who cares what other people say or recommend or sell, just use whatever you find uh, uh, that works for you. Uh, in short, this window, this palette on our left sides shows some kind of uh, choices for our uh, drawing uh, um, tool. It can be pencil, as you can see, it can be airbrush, marker, uh, ballpoint pen, yeah, I use that one uh, because it's, uh, I think it is, uh, perm uh, it is, uh, it doesn't have transparency, we'll check that later, and a couple of those others which are not visible right now. Uh, anyway, you turn on or off this window, this palette, by clicking on this bra uh, brush palette, uh, or, or palette, brush palette button here next to the layers, so if I want this palette of the screen, click on it, if I want it on, click on it, and that's it. On, off, on, off, on, on, off. Simple as that. By default, it's on because it makes sense that you want to see what tool you are using. By default, it's, it's pencil. I'm using it with my mouse. And um, if I, for example, change to airbrush, you can see how now I can paint and make subtle changes like airbrushing my shapes. So for example you can draw some kind of spheres easily. Uh, the problem here is that when I go over or hold my mouse for longer it becomes more black. So it's like shading my shape. Uh, this one ballpoint is very sharp, very thin. I like that one. Uh, paintbrush, yeah, hard uh, eraser. So check out all of those to see what works for you. What works. So, so for example you can use, that's also a good idea and tip, but maybe for some other uh, a video, uh, you can use these brushes to 
shape to draw or with those in a way that you first uh, shape some basic shape with pencil or airbrush and then use eraser to to shape something out of it so for example if I need some kind of tree I can now shape it out of this it's not very precise but you get the idea or some alien head uh, and you can go crazy with those or you can combine just zoom and okay I like this shape which I have created with my airbrush now I need some eyes and this can be some ET extraterrestrial okay I need some uh, not so not so uh, big but more like sharp and to make edges and yeah so ugly alien creature but you get the idea you can combine those nobody cares if it works for you it's great um, turn it on off if you need it the whole idea here is, is that um, there are so many features here which we will be learning later uh, in terms of um, properties yeah so when you click on this button here brush properties you can define how big your pencil draws size flow is it uh, transparent or uh, not is it uh, uh, connected to the pressure of your graphic tablet pen so again I'm drawing with my mouse so you cannot see it but when you use graphic tablet you will be able to draw lighter and harder and it's it's uh, great yeah, it's needed for professional polished look the other one the other button which says brush library opens another hole world for you it's like a set of other brushes which you can just pick from or add complete list here we will learn that later so you have a uh, pastel designer smudge uh, glow glow uh, splatter these are uh, these are like texturing you know, for example some some blood splatter for zombie games texturing uh, texture brushes for texturing your um uh, uh animal creatures uh, or or some kind of monsters or uh, nature uh traditional i use mostly those and i like this one this one is my favorite felt pen probably probably favorite uh, but i have to learn all most of those uh, myself i have tried most of those but i will get back to them because i need and again it's just about you what you find that you need for example you have smear so you can now change the shape of your alien if you are not satisfied with how you make it earlier so it's not perfect but it can be a start and then you can for example smudge it or blur it a little bit Oh, this is too much but you see you see the idea so I can go back with this guy here maybe I can use steady stroke instead and now it looks much better yeah and that's it for this video this brush palette is here to stay you will have to learn it if you want to use Autodesk sketchbook and the good idea is for exercise to combine it with layers so for example make a couple of layers here with plus button and then you see we haven't even touched on those you can learn the, uh, those on your own but for example in layer 2 I will try to make some kind of drawing with my pencil then in layer 3 I will try to make the same or similar stuff with my airbrush then in layer 4 I will use my what is this marker yeah 
and just see what works for you. Okay, this could be maybe nice for fast concept art and this second here can be for painting my final polished art. This first pencil can be good for outline and you can make some remarks here. Outline uh, this yeah, I have drawn it in some other layer, my fault. But you get the idea. Uh, what I wanted to say is just experiment, just practice, and uh, it will all come to you naturally after some time. Uh, it, it's how it works. Uh, thanks for watching. See you in next video. Bye for now.